Hello students, welcome to Edusil. In this video, we are going to discuss about P-Space. In P-Space, we will be discussing about the quantified satisfiability or also known as QSAT. Let us start with the P-Space. P-Space asks for the definition, if an algorithm is taking polynomial space, while uh, you can say the complexity of the space complexity of any algorithm is a polynomial, in that case, we can say it is inside the P-Space. Uh, those who are new uh, kindly watch the previous videos like where we discuss about the PNP and NP complete, NP hard. That time I told you like the time is less as compared to the whenever we are uh, uh, considering the complexity theory. Within that, the time will be less as compared to the space. Though we are taking two uh, different artificial resources for us to optimize in algorithm, we said like the P within that p also we are having l and nl which i told you that time like uh, logarithmic time also is less than the polynomial even if logarithmic is not the lowest constant is also the lowest okay sometimes we are not writing that one we should start from the constant then after that logarithmic or nl or l is there in general we should write it logarithmic after that as for the timing which we have already discussed after that, we may expect polynomial. Then for polynomial, once it is completed, so we are having the exponential, which is written as xp. As for the timing, I'm just writing it. Exponential, we are, after that, we are saying uh, it as a super polynomial, okay? Or you can say the factorial timing, we are just out of the exponential, but we are not exactly writing that one. We are limited to constant L, uh, like logarithmic and polynomial and exponential. But we should be written like factorial is also there. And after that also we can expect uh, the super polynomial which is n to the power n. Factorial is k to the power n. Exponential uh, factorial is n factorial. And here exponential is k to the power n. Polynomial is n to the power k. Logarithmic is as for the log. Constant is 1, 2, 3. Like in that way we are just making it an order. So like that, whenever we are considering the time with the space in the complexity, that time what exactly we are doing? After that P, we are, we are having NP. Within that, I told you P space. Within the P space, both are there. Okay. So uh, first of all, we will be having a polynomial thing. Within the polynomial space, if an algorithm is running, definitely we will be expecting the time it will take within the polynomial space, uh, time. Okay, So after that, we will be having exponential time that I have already mentioned during uh, the P and P and P complete. After that, we will be having X space. Okay, This is as for the book I have found or as for the MIT content I found, uh, these are the way they are actually presenting it. Okay, so I might do this one to give you the better example of what exactly the P space where it lies. Okay, so sometimes we are also writing in this order. Means P is a subset of P space and NP is also a subset of P space. So if an algorithm is taking polynomial space while completing that one, we will be saying the complexity of the space complexity of the algorithm is P space means polynomial in space. And the timing also what exactly we are expecting as a P which is also said sometimes said as easy problem for us or easy solution for us that is also a subset of p space so as per the definition it is written a decision problem a decision problem is like whether we'll write uh, or whether we'll expect yes or no this is what a decision problem is okay is solvable in polynomial space what i told you earlier okay so means the space I, i'll tell you the, the mathematical formula of that one also so it is called as polynomial space or P space. The mathematically it will be represented as P space equal to, we are just representing in union format, 
एल सॉरी के बिलोंग्स टू कैपिटल एल वेर आई थिंक प्रॉपर हियर आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग पी स्पेस इक्वल टू यूनियन वेर के बिलोंग्स टू अ कैपिटल एल स्पेस where it will take this type of condition then only we are saying means it represents n to the power k will be the space only earlier we are saying n to the power k in a timing that's why we are saying it is easy for us or uh, np is a verifiable like we verified it uh, with the polynomial as i have told you the jigsaw problem or the jigsaw puzzle problem whenever we are just arranging the puzzle that time it will take time based on the number of you know arrangements but whenever we are verifying the puzzles with the sample like you are having a sample with you like whether it will be like this or not whether i am saying uh, it is it 11 o'clock at your watch so that time what you have to do there is a decision problem yes or no okay so you have to check checking of the timing 11 you know 11 will be like the there are the Uh, might be uh, how it look like that you know okay if it is 11 so you have to tell yes if it is not so you might say no this is a decision problem okay so how you are deciding based on the verification and solution so if it is not 11 you have to make it a solution like when we will expect the expectations will be if it it is 1 o'clock might we will wait for up to the 11 pm okay or 1 pm it, we should expect up to 11 pm or might be at any point it is solution but for verification we have to check yes it is 11 so we must say yes it is 11 or no it is not 11 this is a part of np okay so uh, uh, means uh, we are having a part of uh, this is a part of a decision problem decision problem means either yes or no we are just delivering the answer so i hope it is clear like what is p space now coming towards the quantify satisfiability or in general we are saying it is also q sort okay as we earlier studied about the sort which is like as i told you it's a king of all np problems why because from uh, np problems we are just converting into the sort satisfiability from sort we are converting into 3 sort or 3 nf which exactly uh, we have completed in the previous videos those who are new kindly watch the previous video through which it is we it will be very much easy for you to understand okay next for q sort uh, we are just changing we are just uh, you know adding two more variable uh, two more symbols here or might be if you can consider these are also a symbol so we may consider that three more symbols here so what exactly we are saying instead of saying the uh, you know boolean expression we are including these three uh, symbols one symbol is we are saying this symbol as there exist okay there exist it is for all means whenever we are saying there exist there exist always whenever we are doing q sort a tree if you are uh, going to introduce that time for there exist if i am just writing it here if one of the children is true then the result is true okay there exist says if one of the children is true if one of the children is true means there might be two uh, we are having like uh, so binary tree basically we are creating so out of that there are two child nodes or children nodes we are having so if anyone is having true so we will 
give the answer or the result as true. In general, we are working for the gaming theory. Okay, here using the Q set, we are just working with the winning and losing percentage we can find out. So for all, if both of the children are true then the result is true okay so what we found if both are true then only we can say the result will be true Okay, I'll, I'll just have one example for you to understand. So uh, here might be you have seen this type of tree, but I must tell you like if you are introducing with three sat, in three sat, three literals are introduced with three different clauses. Like clauses are the brackets. Within that brackets, we are introducing the three clauses. So here for three, so definitely the output or might be the number of children will be two to the power three. So it's it's a, it's all about the leaf node I'm talking about, which is eight leaf node. Uh, we will expect, okay. That's why eight different nodes we are getting it here, okay. Because we introduced this three literals here, okay. Literals we are introducing as you can say x1, x2, x3, due to x1, x2, and x3 we are having three literals so leaf nodes we are expecting that okay so which is if you are working with the three sat or three cnf we have already studied like three literals are there as well as we should have three clauses in between so more than three clauses are not possible in three cnf which we have already studied so here in q sat whenever we are working for the winning percentage whenever we are finding as a result that time we should focus on the literals which we are having as well as the leaf node we should have to decide okay now i told you for there exists if i have written if one of the children is true then the result will be true so first of all what we have to do like the combination which we have already studied 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 like that the combination we are making where I should have to write some portions have not written it well. So x3 the it's it's level 0 okay level 0 level 1 level 2 and these are level 3. So level wise we are just discuss, uh, discussing that one. It is x2 is 0 x3 is 0. So I'm just making the combination the first represents x1 always okay here i'm just writing it it is x1 it is x2 it is x3 okay so uh, as for that we are just deciding on we are not randomly doing this we have to first set up with the combinations okay as for the combinations we are just keeping first one as x1 next x2 next x3 okay so like that we are just making it some part are left like when uh, i collected this information from kingston university uh, there i found and some portions are not written so that's why i'm just writing it here so always we have though it's a binary we are having the condition with either we'll take zero or other uh, i'll take a, a one okay means low or high as well as you can say false or true okay that case we can check because uh, if you have two uh, conditions so definitely you have to check it or at least two times like we are having 0 and 1 we will check for false if i'll taking false so whether i'll win or not that percentage also we can find out next x3 will be 1 x3 here is 0 x3 here it is 1 okay so uh, first we have to complete it as for this condition at least one should be true means one if out of these children like x3 is 0 this side x3 is 1 this side and it, their exist is written here so it should be true why because 
here is 0 here is 1 at least 1 means at least 1 is true here this is true I am saying 1 is represented as true that we have already know this one and 0 is represented as false so I told you like there exist will be the result will be true if any of the children are true okay next here in this case we also say this is true for us Here we are getting true as an answer. Here also true. You might ask me, sir, whether only a there exist will write? No, ask for the question if it is written. So you can take there exist. Instead of suppose uh, there exist, it is written here for all. Okay. Suppose for all is written. So in that case, I must say instead of this true i must have to check like here third, uh, like there exist and for all here only one one has to have at least true value here both has to get the true value in this case it is false it is true so we must say instead of this one we must say it is false clear so though we are having there exist that's why we say it is true for us Okay, whenever we are coming towards this for all, here both the end, like both the children, we are not watching the x2 then. We will be working for this two children node. Okay, for the immediate children nodes that this true and true, definitely we will expect the answer as true for this. As well as here true and true we are having, so we are saying it is true. Means true sometimes we are writing or we know also we are writing instead of true. So this root is our result, okay, root is our result. So I told you any of this is true, so we must say it is true. So definitely we are saying true because both are true for us. So here, if uh, as I have already seen many examples where Bob and Alice are playing or uh, might, might be playing cards or playing any game through which what is the winning percentage here we can say uh, they will win if they are just taking such combinations okay this is what the true this is how we completed the q sort as well as we should know what is p space i think we have completed the p space with certain uh, importance like uh, certain concepts we have covered if you're in doubt please comment below thank you have a good day